question of survival of consciousness is among the most important questions that any scientist or any person can ask. My job is to say, if it is real, it will be revealed, and if it's fake, we'll find the mistake. Just for the record, have you ever met Laurie Campbell before? No, never. Okay. The experimental methods rule out fraud as an explanation. These experiments are conducted single blind, meaning that the medium knows nothing about the identity of the sitter or their deceased loved ones. Today, Dr. Schwartz is testing Lori's unusual powers using volunteer sitter Mark Ireland. I see part of the purpose in uh, being able to do this is just to let people know that we, d we do survive d the death process and that we'll be reunited with our family, our friends, and our pets. Lori starts by receiving messages from some of Mark's deceased friends and relatives. I look at it as like I have telepathy with people that are on the other side, that they project images for me to see, names for me to recognize, words flow through. Dr. Schwartz then asks about Mark's deceased son, Brandon. The first question is what does the, the deceased look like? Child, I keep seeing brown hair because I keep feeling like I'm looking at outdoor pictures. Capturing a child outdoors. Can he, can he show you what was his cause of death? How did Brandon die? God, I feel like the air is just like sucked right out of me, like my chest, my whole chest area. The weird thing is I feel like I want to throw up. It's like, um, and I keep seeing a tree planted. So I feel like there's things in his name or his honor. I don't know if it's a plaque on a wall. After the reading, Lori discovers how much of what she's seen is true. Was there, by the way, a tree or something? Yes. His, there was high, a tree? His school planted a tree as a memorial with a plaque there. Wow, school with a tree yeah. and a plaque. She even accurately described Brandon's death due to an asthma attack. His friend and him didn't realize it was asthma because the symptoms were different than any other asthma attack he'd ever had. And um, he did throw up just before passing away. I'd say Lori's accuracy was in the 70 to 80 percent range. It may end up being higher after I go back through some of that and take time to look at the names and things. Lori Campbell is like a Michael Jordan of the mediumship world. 